still the battle rolls on um, between these two and I think this is about Mountain's points and a statement going on right now because they have not a hope I don't think Robbie of carrying this all the way home not with the sort of uh, riders that they've got behind them at the moment stranger things have happened Igita and Carapaz need to stay away and then see if they can hold off the chase that's being led by Almeida but he's coming closer and closer and getting them in his sights but if they can st stay out of the reach of this group over the top and work together maybe just maybe with the two of them they can then hold off the chase ha. led by Almeida. Carapaz, he goes <laughs> once again. But this will be hitting out for the finish. He is going stage win because these points make zero difference to him in terms of if he's going to win the competition or not. And he needs to get rid of Igita because he is quick at the finish. Carapaz uh, knows that. And he says, I am way better off without you. Well, I, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a hell of a long shot from this sort of distance. Seven kilometres of time trialling with them closing in. And, uh, yeah, he's already, of course, got two stage wins out of this race but another one surely not but stranger things have happened he's gunning for it right now and i'm afraid that agita looks like a spent force at this moment this is going to be you know, a, 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 an open pace and then he'll look around and who's in the wheel and then he will knock off the effort probably so yeah for carapaz you just have to give it all just go to the uh, to the maximum and see what happened in the end but uh, yeah 6.1 it's a long ways but 21 seconds uh, it's looking better again it is it was down to 8 Robbie you said it and here he goes yeah, he had to go. He had to get rid of, uh, of Igita and he had to strike out and go for it and try and hold off that group. And Joel Almeida, he will come back. He may well just have his fun. Down to eight seconds and bouncing back out. What a remarkable ride. 3.8 kilometres from home. What do you reckon, Robbie? Well, he went into the red zone from about 500 metres from the top of that climb to offload Igita and now into time trial mode and it is looking very, very good for the Olympic ha. champion. But now, Aronsman, so he hadn't cooperated with Almeida. He's got a different plan in his head to go off the front on his own and he's looking to take a minute 20 off Rodriguez and that's looking achievable at the moment. But he also wants to just get away from the rest of this group and see if maybe he can jag himself a stage win instead. At the moment, he's got to let those legs uh, spin up 17 seconds only two and a half kilometers to go Sean is he going to get there oh it's looking it's working against him yes well it's um, a danger one that we see Armsman coming out but he's also uh, on the limit there you could see the way he's uh, turning the gear he has difficulty uh, you know getting that big gear around and now it's up to Carapaz if he can keep the pace he's been going over the last two kilometers if he doesn't really you know just explode in this uh, final two kilometers it should be enough but again you know Armsman he's a big powerful time trialist and uh, yeah coming out that bit fresher that tiny little little bit of more energy I can count a lot in this final vital part of the stage of two kilometers. It's 20 seconds for goodness sake it blankets uh, this group and indeed those ahead and here we dig. Can he possibly hold on Richard Carapaz it would be sensational likewise it would be equally marvellous if Aronsman makes the win here but he's stretching the gap yet again 13 14 and 15 seconds kind of bouncing around that margin 49 uh, kilometers per hour 50 this is genius at work potentially what's Aronsman got here to offer up at the last here Robbie look at Carapaz doubling down again ah. on the effort he can just hurt himself so much in his bid for another stage win would be his third in this welder to go along with this KOM jersey. 12 seconds. He still won't trust it, I'm sure. He's going to take, take another couple of sneaky looks over the shoulder. But inside the last kilometre, here's Aronsman. He can see it. Stage victory. As what a performance there because it looked like it was all over uh, on the uh, before the summit of the climb. But this is a champion and uh, uh, he's coming out and showing what he's made of. And you know, He's just that form. He's got better as this race went on. and He's also walked it out. Give a day in the break with then take a bit of a rest, then in the breakaway again, and it works out for a third time. Absolutely so. A short ramp here, nothing too serious. He'll get to the crest, and the cameras are going to pick up those who are pursuing him. He should get there. They're calling the cars out of that gap right now, and there, from behind the screen of the camera bike, it's Eamon Aronsman grinding into this one, but surely it's all too late, and here come the pack as well. And don't forget the big bonus seconds up for grabs, but how important they will be is anybody's guess. He knows he's got it. That is fantastic. Fabulous. Carapaz, Carapau, that was genius. He timed that so well. He used all his energies at all the right times. 
and he's got time on everyone. Eight seconds to uh, to Aronsman as he comes across the line. Spit for minor place is going on. It's a user that crosses the line right now. Goodness me, what a battle we've had. And now we've not only faked this man, but also a young Belgian called Remco Evenepoel.